represent your club or just a player that you really like over at Club Vector. The link can be found down below. We also take requests for new names and shirts. My Twitter can be found down below. And if you'd rather get your coins direct rather than roll the dice with FIFA points, head to u7buy.com and at checkout, use the code TVM for a discount. The link can be found down below. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to a brand new player review, three brand new icons, I say brand new, you know what I mean, three new icon SBCs, they're not new icons, Michael Owing being uh, one of them, 91 rated, the prime version, and, and not really the, that expensive, you know, considering you can grind mid-range uh, fodder quite easily, so we're talking... 83s, 84s, I wouldn't say like easy as in it's all free and it's not going to take time or cost money or anything, but we do have the upgrades available to be able to boost this kind of thing. Rewards tend to give us that sort of low fodder, and if you do end up packing something like an All Black or a Tostegan or something like that, then it's going to offset the rating for you massively. The price of this SBC uh, is around 430,000 coins. Fodder is really high right now as well, whether it stays high for the duration of the SBC, we're not sure. It doesn't expire until the 1st of March, so I would be very surprised if fodder remains high the entire time. There is going to be a point where 83s, 4s, 5s, 6s and even 7s are going to come down by a, a reasonable amount. They're not going to fall to the bottom, but they are going to come down a reasonable amount between now and then. It's just a question of picking your moment. On the market, he's about 550, 560, so there is a fairly big, big discount there. I know a lot of people complain every time EA release anything, and I think it's just because it's EA and it's it's trendy to hate on them. I don't think it's a bad SBC uh, in terms of price. You know, it's it's a lot cheaper than it is on the market. Sure, it's untradeable, but with Michael Owen, you know pretty much exactly what you're getting into. I think this is one for, you know, fans of him and, and maybe teams that he's played for. He's not the most desirable Liverpool legend ever, but of course that is the most notable club that he's played for in terms of longevity. You know, he's played for them longer than anybody else, as far as I'm aware anyway. Three-star skills, definitely a, a bad point, I guess. Four-star weak foot. 5-8, uh, medium, medium, good pace, good finishing, very good finish actually, 94, 94 positioning, his dribbling, decent at 90, 91 reactions, very good, stamina's to a touch on the low side at 80, heading is good, not that he'll ever be able to win a header unless he's uncontested in the area, talked about Maradona doing this the other day, his passing is woeful, uh, but he's a striker, so what do you expect? You know, it's one of those cards that I think you can find already in the game, and you don't have to search for a prime icon. You you won't have to go and spend the half a million coins on Michael Owen to get this type of card somewhere else. And you'll be able to get it somewhere else with skill moves as well. Because a big part of this game really is using the four star and five star skills. Not for everyone, sure, but for most people and myself included, I am an advocate of skill moves and I like to use them. They're fun to use. They can be effective. Step overs are very good and that and the bridge is a very good skill move. You don't need to have four star skills to be able to perform those. So that's where, look at this. How has he not scored that? That's outrageous. And I'm not even saying it's the game. I reckon that's Michael Owen. I, I, I have another striker, I have another 10 strikers who would have scored that and I, I, I don't have any doubt in my mind that they would have put that in the back of the net. I'm talking, you know, even like the guy on the ball there, Ronaldo, even Kaká, I think would have scored that. But, you know, it's just one of those situations, I guess. In terms of, you know, how good is he, regardless of coins, he's he's quick, he's nimble, he's, um, he's somewhat agile. He's not the most agile player in the world, but he is somewhat agile. He can beat the back line. His starting position is normally very good. He runs into the penalty area quite late if you've got him... Not like coming back or anything, but if you've used him to come back and to help out in the sort of cam spot or whatever, he'll make that late dart into the penalty area to get on the end of a, of a shot or whatever it may be. Like that there, look at that run. That is so Michael Owen. And that's what I was trying to do with him. And I guess that's kind of what I do with all icons um, is to try and play with them how I used to watch them. So three players that we have here in the same team, Keen, Kaka, Owen, all players I watched growing up, all players that uh, I know a fair bit about. Look at this goal from Owen. Okay, this one isn't the best one, actually. That's, I guess it's kind of an Owen goal, but um, there is another one coming up that's better. It looks better. My opponent's defending is very questionable, to say the least, but not that I'm saying it's the most Owen goal I've ever scored. It might be this one, actually. 
that finish is very, very nice. I like that finish. But I was trying to play with them, all three of them, uh, how I used to watch them. You know, playing the ball through with Kaka, it's a very Kaka thing to do. But also then getting on the end of it with Michael Owen and, and, and trying to put a finesse shot across the keeper, trying to hit it across the goalkeeper in general. Uh, laying a ball off there to Kaka, not that... Um, you know, that's one of the things that I was trying to do specifically, but Kaká's position was very good. Got a review for Kaká coming out quite soon, but um, we'll continue to talk about Owen and what he's bad at, I guess, because we've we've had a little bit of what he's good at. His position is very good. His finishing, for the most part, is decent. He does miss the odd sitter, but who doesn't? And his pace is very good indeed, right? So, very nice back heel. Kaká gets on the end of it. Fantastic. What is he not very good at? I mean, it's just... You know, it's the odd thing here or there, right? So his stamina isn't very good in general, which is a shame because you pay all that money for a prime icon. And unfortunately, whatever reason, you can't use them past a certain minute. Or if you abuse them a little bit too much, you, you get punished for it. Whereas a player with 89, 90 stamina wouldn't be punished for it. His passing isn't particularly great. Um, as I say that, he lobs a, a lovely ball over for Kaká to score, but, you know, it's it's not ideal that his passing isn't great. Maybe a dead eye could fix that. Of course, there are several chem styles that you could put on this card. A finisher being one of them, dead eye, engine. You could even put a hunter on him if you really want to. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I mean, it's it's not a bad card. I'm not saying, and, and just because it's got value for coins at 60, I'm not saying it's a bad card. Absolutely not. This is a good player who can score goals, who the better you are at the game, the more fun you're going to be able to have with him because his downside is going to be less for you than it is going to be for someone who isn't particularly good at the game because if you're not very good at the game, you need a player to be fantastic everywhere because you need the help, right? You need them to carry you. However, if you're brilliant at the game, you can overlook certain things that aren't necessarily great with a card because you're that good at the game it doesn't matter do you know what i mean so the better you are at the game the more fun you're going to have with michael owen and the worse you are at the game the the more you're going to see his imperfections and you're going to struggle with him right but i mean on the whole if you're a fan of the card or fan of the player rather not the card if you're a fan of the player one of the clubs that he's played for and you like him in general you're going to get on with him you're going to enjoy him i would 100 percent recommend the loan I think the SBC isn't terrible value, and I like the fact that it's cheaper than what he is on the market for the time being. It's just there are a lot of these cards around. You know, there's a lot of high paced, good finishing, lacking in other areas type strikers. That's my issue. But that's just one man's opinion. Let me know what you think of the card in the comment section down below. Are you going to complete the SBC? Very easy to grind in terms of fodder. If you have enjoyed this player review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you, of course, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the Betting Rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.